so guys in this video i'm going to be essentially giving you guys a tutorial about how to uh, make a zach king um video so the first video as we can see we're here zach king goes he pulls it on uh, pulls through his shirt and the shirt goes and it, it comes on his body and exactly i'll be making a preview for that and then um we can see over here that there is a change of colors like zach king is constantly changing the color and here is my preview of how i'm going to be changing the color so i'm going to be essentially showing you guys how to make this like my preview or my version of that but before the credits must be given where it's due so essentially guys it is not a very original idea um i've essentially been uh, just it's a mainly a copy paste of another youtuber but essentially just that i'm going to be doing on hit film express while as this youtuber over here he did on adobe premiere in addition to that i also got some help from an online hit film express to uh, forum so that's the user over there so credits go to these guys and yeah i'm gonna be linking uh linking i guess both in, in the description i guess so so first of all guys you have to record ideally use a tripod a tripod would really make your life super super simple but if you don't have one then you can ask your friend to record or you could just get your phone and tape it to the wall if you can't understand what i mean just tape the phone to the wall uh, with like any tape you have in your house hit record so very very simple so essentially you just pull the shirt towards you and then you wear the shirt and you have to do the pulling motion again key over here is pulling motion again you must do the pulling motion twice the second one is quite simple to record but very hard to edit is that basically you get your object your target object and you hit it to your body and when you hit that to your body and then we can go into the editing software and edit from there uh, make sure to save them and upload them to your computer first part of the tutorial which is going to be changing the shirt and how we're going to do that very very simple hit import go where your footage is saved i'm going to go here in my downloads and my footage is saved here get this drag it as we previously discussed about the filming of this cut it before the um, what do you call it the color change we'll go here slice it and that's perfect go here and click I'm gonna right click and click make composite shop or control M click OK okay so now my my first one I'm gonna bring drag it to where I'm holding the t-shirt out so I think over here I'm holding it hit split hit split and delete this uses video and now i'm going to bring it here and essentially i'll just make my thing a bit bigger and uh, essentially i'll bring it here until i pull so i pulled over here yep and i think this is good make a cut and then i'll bring it i pull over here so i'll cut over here again cut away the useless okay whatever and then i'll drag this exactly exactly underneath the previous footage so this area i was pulling to this area so now when you play it really really when you just play it obviously it's very very fast so you're just gonna go like this and i feel like over here it's pretty good I should probably go over here and double check it i think it looks fine so guys, what you want to do with the second piece of photo is make it a uh, composite shot. I've already made it a composite shot, so all you have to do is click it and make it Control M. Once you guys go here, essentially what you guys want to be doing this, sorry for this one. Okay, yeah, you essentially want to get your whole piece of footage. You want to drag and drag and drag and then see where uh, where, where is the where is the place my object hits me. So let me just we can just move back by using the dash and the full stop keys. We can just move back. So I'm gonna at this exact point my thing. It hits my shirt so at this point my color will change okay now I'll, I will just drag them in front of the clip yeah perfect now once I've done that I will duplicate the uh, bottom clip uh, control D and then what I will do is I'm gonna hit over here and then I'm gonna go on color correction correction wheels hit it over here hit down hit master hit this one hit it bring it to my object and drag this towards the right yeah hit this and make a screenshot of this 60 is your, your red is 60 your green is 53 and your blue is 53 hit this close it press ctrl v okay now once i've done that you you have no need of this so click delete on the effects make sure to delete that don't keep it there next thing you need is two effects leaf color apply it on the upper layer everything on the upper layer by the way nothing on the lower layer hue saturation and lightness hit it over here perfect perfect so you essentially want it to leave so what colors do you want it to leave is going to be you essentially just put your colors over here 53 no what was my red 60 60 53 53 click ok 
perfect 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 close this close this close this close everything yeah now go on red go on red and 60 okay then you go here 60 go on green what is my six green 53 put the same thing on green 53 oops i didn't show it properly guys yeah green 53 now go blue again 53 So now guys, as you can, if you go back, we come, I can see my shirt is blue and now it's very much matching this object. And then what I'm going to do is going to go like every 10 seconds, I'm going to make a new clip. Why? It'll make my masking simpler, essentially. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hit here, it's split. I'm going to keep on doing this until my footage ends. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now you, as you guys can see, um, I have done this all. And there are essentially, for masking, I have a clear view. I have a clear view of this many. I have really 9 shots which I need to mask. Which is going to take me a long while. It's not a very easy, but I'm going to show you guys. You hit mask over here, you hit this tool. Freehand. And then you have to zoom in. And if you hit the right key, right right click, it will help you drag. And and the left click is obviously to make the mask. I go from here, 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 moving along, I'm moving along this, moving along this, moving along this, moving along this. As you, as you guys can see, it's a very very long process, a very long leg. So yeah, I will go to the first one. Create a timestamp. Now I will go second one and check everything is fine. Fine. It's third one. Everything seems so fine. Here I can see. Look. Hit 400. Hit right click. Hit here. You can see that there's a color. You don't want this. You go here. Right. Unlock curve. Again. Unlock curve. Alright guys, just going on shot number 3 Gonna be creating a new mask over here Alrighty Scale to fit Yep Okay Yep Gonna be going to zoom in over here so Make my life 20 million times easier Okay, ouch Ouch, 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 ouch Okay guys, shot number 5 Alright guys, 5 more shots So I think I'm on shot number 5 right now Let's go hit the mask button and keep going No, no quitting down here
so we are finished let's see the end product pretty good see the end product we are finished Well guys, thank you for watching. As I said, the credits have to be given to those people who basically help not help me, but basically I was taking a lot of inspiration or taking the proper idea of. And by the way, the guys, video I didn't copy the whole thing. I just copied the first two parts of it. This video, not the whole thing. Guys, this has been fun. Legs, thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys next time.